Hey everybody, I'm Isaac with Team Foreigner and we are out here in Blue Ridge, Georgia at the third annual Destination Outdoor and I have the privilege of being with Kurt from Cruiser Outfitters and he's here with Toyota USA and Lexus USA and we're going to talk about the Tacoma Overlanding Overland. concept. This is a fun build to be part of. This is really an aspirational build. Part of Toyota USA looked at this for a SEMA. This was shown at the SEMA show last year. So, uh, but now it's been out getting a lot of fun use on the trails. We've had it out the last few days here in Georgia, but it's also been traveling around on the Overland Expo circuit as well. So doing some really cool things. You'll notice a lot of the key features. You'll look around the parking lot, at the many awesome attendees here and so much eye candy here in the parking lot. A lot of the same features tied into this one. Uh, starting with bumper winch protection, it's got the full ARB winch bar, worn winch, it's got a lot of the goods, the soulless lights, skid plate protection. It's really just dialed up to be a nice, comfortable daily driver, but also a very stalwart off-road machine. This features the old man EMU BP51 suspension, fully adjustable, rebound compression, really cool setup. Gives you a little bit of room for plus size tires as well, so you can squeeze a little bigger tire in there. We've got the Expedition 1 sliders, as well as the Expedition 1 full swing out rear bumper. Really nice touch. And this has got the ARB drawer system and freezer fridge in the back too. So it's kind of like a dialed, ready to run truck, just set up and ready to go. And we've been using this not only as a drive vehicle for the trails we've been doing with the uh, journalists and the guests we brought here, but this is also like a sag wagon. We've got the fridge full of goods for all our food that we're using as we camp and cooking. We've got the drawers full of gear. So it's a very functional display vehicle, but yeah, it was a SEMA truck too. Awesome, Kurt. Thanks for touching on that. So, a couple more questions. You what, bet. what is this platform based off of? Is this a TRD off-road? Is this, this is a... the SR5 Tacoma. That's kind of one cool thing and, and a reason for this is that if you're going to take it and put a lot of other modifications and different suspension on it anyway, start with uh, maybe a little lower trim level, a little more readily available, a little different price point, and then accessorize the way you want it. So while the TRD Pros and the whole TRD lineup have some really amazing OE offered suspension, really dialed stuff, if you're going to do a lot of changes to it, well, this is a, the SR5 is a great platform to do it with. Right. And then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up here with the last question. Why? Did Toyota want a Tacoma overlanding concept? What What's kind of the story behind it? Or where, where's Toyota going with that? Well, uh, you know, you'd have to get the full answer from a Toyota employee. And I know their answer is going to be, we're not going to tell you. You know, <laughs> wait and see. There's a lot of exciting stuff okay. coming. But uh, yeah, look around at the market and kind of see where everything's going. A lot of lifestyle builds, people living out of their vehicles, both for just maybe a weekend or months at a time. And Toyota has always been a very key part of that, both here in the U.S. and certainly internationally, that Toyotas are well known in the overlanding realm. And I think uh, we're seeing Toyota USA and we've got some Lexus vehicles here too, really embracing that and uh, acknowledging that these are kind of really aspirational vehicles for people to build up and go travel. Right. Absolutely. I love it. Thanks yeah. so much, cool. Kurt. Really yeah. appreciate it. No worries. It. All right. Thanks.